are the first. The first to see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. Hey everyone, it's Alessandra here from criticalhit.net. We're in Los Angeles and today we got to play Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm here with Julian Laferriere, he's the producer on Assassin's Creed Origins and man, what a demo. Really, really Thank impressive you very demo. Much. How's the uh, reception been to Origins so far just from the short showing you've had at the show? Um, we're really happy to be, you know, to be uh, finally able to talk about Assassin's Creed Origins after three and a half years in the making, a few months out of release. Uh, really good to be at E3 and finally talk about the game. Really happy that you liked the demo. Uh, reception so far has been great. Uh, we're really happy with the new elements we're bringing to the franchise. Uh, the time we had enabled us to really rework our major mechanics in the game, tell a brand new story in this beautiful world of ancient Egypt. So uh, really happy to be here at E3 today. So yeah, let's start there. I mean, Origins in the name, it's going back way, way back from where Assassin's Creed Syndicate left off. And we're in ancient Egypt. That's way before Altair's time. It is the uh, birthplace of the Assassin Order. So how are you kind of crafting this story to show the birth of the Assassin Order and in a time period where you know players are going to have far less technology to kind of mess around with? So it's the first time we're telling a story so far you know, in time. Uh, we had to, to work with, with uh, Egyptologists and historian experts to recreate uh, this world of 49 BCE. Uh, mm -hmm. So that required a lot of work. And for the first time around, we're making a whole country, you know? So it's not like big cities like Alexandria and Memphis. Mm -hmm. We wanted to bring the desert, the oasises, the lush vegetation of the Nile Delta and all of that. So for us, it was a, a real challenge. Um, and how do we, uh, your question was how do we recreate uh, yeah. Egypt basically uh, um, we had to, to technically from the ground up we we reworked the mechanics we, we continue working on improving on our engine to have this this seamless world and in terms of the, for the for the experience of the player we wanted to, to have a lot of freedom so we have a progression system with RPG elements uh, for example you get loot in the game weapons with rarity levels you level up you have ability points we have a new fight system uh, so the fight system is really revamped it's based on a hitbox system so it's like the the weapon that you equip will really matter and there's a seamless transition between uh, uh, archery and melee combat mm -hmm. um, and to top it off we have a new AI system that governs all the NPCs in the world so the NPCs have their own agenda and they feel very much alive. So yeah I mean we're looking at an Assassin's Creed for the first time where uh, you're able to pick up loot, you're able to equip different weapons that have these different uh, attack attributes, these different damage attributes, and you're kind of crafting your assassin with all this equipment. Um, why such the drastic change from past iterations where you just like had a handful of weapons and they were tools rather than, you know, RP role playing elements for you to mess around with? Um, right off the bat, after Black Flag, we were in conception for this game and we knew we wanted to, to, to revisit the, the core mechanics. And the, the, the key word here was give player as much freedom as we could. We wanted to have an Assassin's Creed experience, but that you can cater to your own taste. You can cater to your own uh, uh, philosophy if you want. Like for example, if you're more of a stealth player, mm -hmm. you will be able to unlock specific abilities for that. You might uh, want to level up your bow to take enemies from a distance, being stealthy in the bushes. Mm -hmm. Or if you like combat, uh, uh, Bayek is the last Magi. He's from a, a strong line of warriors, and that's why we revamped the fight system. So you might uh, want to uh, level level up those abilities, pick up rare weapons and really find a weapon that will suit your combat style. So that's the approach that we had because we had that time in front of us and we felt uh, we could really modernize the franchise with those new mechanics. But even though we're taking Assassin's Creed back to a you know, far back time period, I feel like there's a lot more to do within the game. Um, the seamless transitions between riding on a horse and then you're on a ship and then you can swim and look for treasure in the ocean. Um, there's just a lot more to do in this type of Assassin's Creed. So what, you know, what more can players look forward to that, were, that weren't in games like Syndicate and Unity and past iterations that they might have played? So we really wanted to, to have uh, the player uh, uh, experience the game at his own pace. 
Um, a good example of that is the new quest system we have. Uh, the quest system is much more open-ended. It's our open-ended narrative system, if you want. So with the NPCs with their own agendas, you'll get to meet them. They'll give you quests. You can decide whether or not you want to do them. You, you can do them at the moment you want to. If you like a specific you know, line of narrative, you can engage in that line. And it was really important for us that uh, with the big world we created, to have players experience it the way they want to. And that's how I feel we're bringing a very modern twist to the, to the franchise. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, there's just so much to do in terms of um, you know, it, collectibles and exploration. But also, I really like that there isn't a, a consistent mini-map with tons of icons for me to kind of hunt down. I'm being more encouraged to go and look and kind of create my own path through that. Was that an important change that you wanted to make? I mean, it's very evident that people are a bit sick of the clutter around the map and it just seems a lot more streamlined in Origins so that you're encouraged to to look more rather than to just go towards a waypoint. It was really important for us to have uh, to immerse the player in this rich world as much as we could. We wanted the, the players to look for visual cues in the world, to be able to, to experience Egypt the way we, we crafted it. Uh, that's also the reason why we brought Senu in, your, your pet eagle. Uh, she will give you a, a brand new perspective, so a top view perspective on that world. That's one of the reasons why. We really wanted to give a, a different approach, but an approach that will favor a lot the, the immersion of the player. So that's why we, we kind of uh, made a, a very minimal UI and just to players that really absorb that beautiful world we crafted. And then just finally, just in terms of uh, narrative, I mean, we're taking the story way back, so your connections to players, uh, to characters that players might be familiar with, it's completely detached. I mean, they're hundreds of years apart. So are you focusing entirely here on an origin story for the Assassin's Order, or are you looking at trying to, you know, create connections to other Assassins closer to time periods like Altair and eventually Ezio? Um, what's what's great about this game is that uh, we get, like you're saying, we get to, to tell the story of the the origin of the Brotherhood. And in the previous games and in the franchise, we we kind of created this lore that we can tap into. And for us as as storytellers, it's really really fun to be able to kind of tread the the missing links together and that sort of stuff with with the origin story. And for new players, also, it's it's a good moment to join in the franchise as well because we're telling the the story of of the first. Uh, organized brotherhood of the assassins so I think it's it's going to be super interesting for fans but also for new players as well fantastic thank you uh, thank you for walking us through that and thank uh, you very much. I hope you have a really good e3 and Assassin's Creed Origins is out uh, this November correct uh, Assassin's Creed Origin is out October 27th on Xbox one uh, Xbox one X ps4 ps4 pro and PC so many platforms now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, thank uh, you Julian, very much. and uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll have a lot more coverage coming to you from E3. We've got a lot of Assassin's Creed Origins footage and gameplay that we're going to walk you through, so keep a lock to Critical Hit. Critical Hit E3 2017 coverage. Supported